it's that time again to show you five free software for your computer that are actually great. With all the bad programs out there, I'm always looking for the best free software that can perform many of the tasks of expensive paid software. All the programs that I show you today are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is OBS Studio, which is a free and open source screen recorder. It's great for recording projects that can be saved to your computer and for live streaming of video games or anything else that you want to stream live. I've used several screen recorders and OBS Studio is the best that I've used. Unlike most free screen recorders, OBS does not have any forced watermarks and you can record with up to 60 frames per second. Here's what the program looks like when you first launch it. There's too much to cover in this short video, so I'll just go over a few of the basics. It'll show you the screen area that will be recorded. You can start live streaming by selecting Start Streaming or just selecting Start Recording for a recording that will be saved to your PC. If you go into Settings, you have several options that can be changed which will vary depending on whether you live stream or you plan on creating projects that will be saved to your computer. One thing I'd recommend doing is going into the hotkey settings and adding some hotkeys that will make your life easier. If you plan to try out the software, there is a slight learning curve. There are several videos on YouTube that will get you started and OBS has an expansive help section on their site. The latest release for OBS Studio has a download installer for Windows 7 and newer, Mac OS 10.10 and newer, and for Linux users, you'll have to refer to the build instructions if you want it on your system. PhotoSketcher is software that'll take your pictures and turn them into artwork. I find the effects are a lot better than those found in online photo editors. Let's jump right in. PhotoSketcher is really easy to use. Select the blue folder, and then select your picture, If you want to zoom in on your image or zoom out, you can use the magnifiers located in the upper right hand corner. Select the paint icon. There are more than 20 different drawing styles that you can choose from. If you hover your mouse over each style, you can see an example. For this one, I'll go down to painting effects and select painting six, oil painting. You can change the strength of the effect along with other settings. I'll just leave them where they are and select draw. And then just wait for it to finish. And you'll see in the right pane, it's created a cool looking oil painting. In the banner at the top, you have the options to add text, to undo or redo your changes, and to save, just select the floppy disk. PhotoSketcher is available on Windows there's an experimental but usable version for Mac, and Linux users have been able to run it by using Wine. Flux is a program that adjusts the color temperature of your display according to your location and time of day. Blue light emitting from your screens in the evening can make it more difficult to sleep. Flux reduces the blue light levels. It's impossible to demonstrate because the color temperatures can't be recorded, so I'll just go over some of the settings. You can change the 24 hour presets. I personally prefer reduce eye strain. If you click on the sun icon, it will show you a 24 hour preview. There are also other settings that you can change and it can also be paired with the Philips Hue lights. Many operating systems now have a built in night mode, but none of them I've used are as good. Flux is available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Atom is a free and open source text editor for those of you that are computer programmers. There are thousands of open source packages and themes that you can choose from. You can even tweak the user interface. When you launch Atom, you will have several choices, including open a project, install a package, choose a theme, and others. Once you have a project opened, it has a user-friendly layout that shares some similarities to Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code. You can use Atom on Windows, Mac, and Linux. As many of you know, one of my favorite websites is VirusTotal, which is owned by Google. 
The site aggregates many antivirus products and online scan engines. You can upload a file from your PC to scan for different types of malware. You can even check a URL of a website to determine if that site is safe. The preferred method for me is to use the VirusTotal desktop app. When you open the program, it will show all the executable files on your system. To check one of the files, select one, and then click on Upload Process Executable. It will show you the results on the VirusTotal site. Another way to check a file is to right-click on it directly and select Send a Virus Total from the drop-down menu. And this one looks good with a 0 out of 68 detection ratio. If you happen to find files with detections, don't freak out. It does not necessarily mean that the file is bad. Many of the scanning engines they use from well-known security companies have been known to send out false positives. The Windows Uploader is no longer maintained, but still works great. The Mac OS X Uploader gives an additional option of dragging and dropping a file into the application to scan them. They don't have a dedicated Linux uploader, but it says here that the Mac OS X uploader core can be compiled for your distribution. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of any free software that you think is great, let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more from our free software series and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.